Hey everyone, welcome back to another pres- <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of- wow! And today we are gonna be looking at a two block tall flower farm. So, this flower farm is just gonna work with these two tall uh, flowers. And if it is just a normal one block tall flowers like these, it won't work. So this is designed specially for these two tall flowers. But I will be doing these one block tall flower farm in the next episode. So if you guys are excited and want to see that, make sure to subscribe. So uh, now let's see how it works. So. If you haven't experimented with the two, two block tall flowers, you won't know that you can actually just get the flower by just bone milling these flowers. You can see bone milling the flower, you can see there's a flower pop off. And we are using that mechanic to make this flower farm. So we have a bunch of bone mill in here. And once we flick this lever, and it, it automatically dispense these bone mills. So we just dispense the bone mill to this flower and it just drop its flower. And you can use this for multiple different flowers. You can see sunflower works. This flower works the rose bushes works and also the flower with that uh, this flower so every one of these two block tall flowers will work and it's actually pretty easy to build you can see that yeah these are just all of the redstone and we just have uh, the collection system down here and it will collect the flowers that pop off and land on the block underneath the flower so yeah it's just just like that and we just produce these flowers so now let's build them and before we build one of these you can actually just modify this flower farm because it's just this easy and this is just normal one dispenser uh, two block tall flower farm you can actually place multiple dispensers that fire at the same time to this flower and you can multiply it by how many dispensers you pop you fire so if you have two dispensers firing at the same time it will drop two flower at a time so that you can use that to increase the efficiency of your flower farm and you can of course build a whole array like this and a bunch of two block tall flower farm like this and they all producing at the same time and you can just modify it however you want even this redstone right here you can use other ways to get the redstone clock but this is by far the cheapest way to build it you just need some redstone and some sticks so uh yeah now let's start building. So these are the materials you'll need and these two are just the storage system right here. And you'll need these two items for you to get the hopper minecart into this grass block right here so that it can actually suck the item from the ground and input it into this large chest. But if you plan on making your own kind of storage system that is a little bit bigger or smaller or just fancier, you can exclude you can exclude these two things. So yeah, and also this white stained glass is the glass on the outside like this. And I recommend you guys to use glass because you can, when you power the flower farm, you can actually know that the flower farm is currently working and you can turn it off whenever you don't want it to be 
producing flowers and you can see into the form very clearly so yeah I'm I recommend using glass so first of all you'll need to put your hopper to the side or if you want your hopper to be facing other way you can do so but if you are following this storage system you should put your hopper to the side and then put two chests like this to make a double chest like that and then you can get your rail and put it on top of the hopper and also a hopper minecart so it should look like this and now you break the rail underneath the hopper minecart and get your grass block and place it on top like this and make sure there's no gap like this and should be directly on top now grab your piston and face it downwards like this and then just grab whatever things that can power the piston and push the grass block into the hopper minecart so you should see that your hopper minecart is in the grass block and appears black so it should be correct if it looks like this and now put your dispenser like this on the top side like that and it has a gap between the grass block and also the dispenser and now it's a great time to put your bone meal into the dispenser and then place a redstone dust on top of the dispenser block like that and three redstone torches like this and then a block on top of the redstone dust place a lever on top and flick it and you should see that the dispenser fired but there isn't actually a bone mill used so that's great but if you are in the lower version it might use a bone mill when you flick it but it's just one bone mill so it doesn't matter and then place three blocks like this on top of these three redstone torches so now your redstone clock is done and now you just have to place in your flower so place it like that and then you can surround the flowers with glass and also right here and now your flower farm is done and once you flick this lever you can see that the flowers are producing and it should there should be a lot of flowers in the chest already because this is quite fast and yeah that's pretty much everything and again if you want it to be more faster you can place more dispensers face dispensers facing into the flower or you can build a lot more modules uh, than this one so you can build multiple modules of this and you can get the flowers to produce faster so uh, that's pretty much it and there isn't anything to say about this so uh hopefully you guys enjoyed the video make sure to leave like if you guys did and also subscribe so never miss any future contents i'm frogsteen i'll see you guys in the next video bye